feels a little heavier. Oh, hey! We got something! <laughs> we got something! What is that? What's up? You're with 3D. I'm here in Daytona Beach, Florida. That's what's going on in the background, all those big buildings. It's currently bike week right now. However, I'm not over there. I was driving around, found these random docks. I'm on one of them. And I have this big magnet in my book bag. There's this thing called magnet fishing. You throw this powerful magnet in the water and it, and it grabs weird things, you know, ferrous material. For you that didn't pay attention in science class, that's a material that contains iron, which is magnetic, so it pulls that up, whether that be a phone, a uh, motorcycle, uh, guns, ammunition, anything exciting. So it sounded like an adventure to me. Like I said, I've never done this before, so this magnet is, is brand new. I've never used it, it's still in the box. It probably should stay in the box because it's got these warnings on it. You don't wanna get this close to technology, credit cards, it can wipe off the information on them. So I'm definitely not gonna put them near SD cards or anything like that. Here's our magnet. We're gonna put this on some string, toss it in the water. So here's my thought process. When I come to a dock, I usually go to the end, so I'm thinking, no, oh, I'm here taking, you know, a selfie, and then all of a sudden, whoops. Feels like it already grabbed something. No. All right, we're at the bottom. That easy. I'm just gonna drag it across here and see what the heck happens. Nothing. This might be too shallow here. Well, I successfully have knotted up my string. Looks like there's, hey, I found a hook. Got my first, first ever souvenir there. Don't gotta go to the bait and tackle shop this evening. What's up, buddy? Oh. So far, the only thing I've caught was a hook and probably a cold. I figured you'd catch a lot of hooks. <laughs> That's it's a hey, oh, no, a battery. Look at that. We're gonna add that to the collection. Here's the hook. That's a strong magnet. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you gotta throw it farther than that. I see I was waiting for you, and you're gonna be my thrower. Well, another thing you can do is just, I'll just drag it right along. Too, right I, I, I did know? drag it over here, but yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, the most of it's probably directly under here. Oh yeah, maybe. Got a wig? What do we got? Must have a hook here. No, that's kind of funny. We didn't even catch it with the magnet. We caught it with the back of the magnet. What the hey? So we left Daytona, the city. Uh, we came out here in the country in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I think it's called Lake Apopka, I think. I just met this kid, his name's Jacob. He actually just caught a fish a minute ago. That's a damn catfish. That thing's wicked. Dude. So, so that sucker didn't even bite, you, you snagged no, it. No, I probably snagged him running that freaking jerk bait. Yeah, it is. Oh, come here, fella. Something. Don't. We got some live action. First catch of the day, Jacob? Yes, sir. All right, now I ain't gonna touch this dude because I'm gonna stick myself back in the water. But I asked him if this is a good spot to magnet fish. Well, this is really the only place in Lake County to get on Lake Apopka. Okay. Especially through the Lock and Dam down there. And you got people on boats and little kids and stuff dropping stuff. And, you know, and then you got people fishing out here. You know, I've dropped knives before fishing. So really? I'm sure people drop knives out here and pliers and stuff. Okay, cool. If you find a nice pair of freaking Leatherman pliers, $90. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so, we're, so we're on the hunt for some, some Leathermans? Leatherman pliers. <laughs> if you find Leatherman pliers, if I had $100, I'd give it to you. <laughs> Oh okay, yeah, you guys, we're in business. We haven't even thrown lines in the water yet, and there's already like alligators or crocodile. What's the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? Their jaw shape. Their jaw shape? So can we tell what that is yet? That's an alligator. That's there's an alligator? No, there's no crocodiles in Central Florida. Can't believe there's two freaking alligators just hanging out there. That's awesome. I think I honestly felt something. I think I got something. Maybe. Nope. Thought I felt something right there. I got something. I do. I got to. No. Just seaweed. You ever snagged an alligator? Yeah, I actually have, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I can tell you what I've learned the first time magnificent. One, 
just stand on your line and throw it out and let it sink to the bottom i'm still unclear on whether i'm supposed to jerk it like this or if i'm supposed to go back and forth what's supposed to happen but i will tell you that it's very condescending you feel like you got something and then you go to pull it up and, and nothing's there so i don't know if i need to get a stronger magnet so that it sinks lower into the muck or what's going on i think i need a, a larger stronger heavier magnet so that way it goes into the muck and then i can pull something out i think it's too mucky for my current magnet now i don't know the rules and regulations on gator hunting or or what have you but i'm really tempted to like put some turkey on the end of this line and really strike up a show but like i said I don't want to have the game warden after me and I still want my lunch. So this place has definitely been more exciting. We got two alligators right here. The park ranger said there's a bunch of baby alligators over here so we got to be careful and make sure uh, either that's not mama, that's not mama, or mama's hiding. So that's slightly sketchy. Also found this cool shell here. Jacob said he's never caught a fish like that before which is awesome. It was a really cool fish. I'll have to text him. I got his number. We'll see what kind of fish that was. Maybe you guys know what it is. Leave in the comment section below as well before I tell you what it is. Okay, we got some bad news and we got some bad news. Mama, uh, she's missing. Babies are over here. So we're in some dangerous, uh, we're, we're in a dangerous location. Uh, the other thing is we've only caught two hooks here so far. It's apparent we brought a knife to a gunfight. This guy's just not gonna do it in this muck. The only two things that I have found that have been magnetic are these two right here. We have a hook, uh, a pretty big hook, and then a common, a second common hook, and then the line to that hook. And the funny thing is, is the magnet didn't even grab it. It was connected to seaweed that the top pulled up. See, it's just really mucky, but I still had a blast, you guys. I'm definitely gonna have to boost up my artillery, uh, get something heavier and come back to this spot. We'll find more spots. I wanna continue uh, to, to go on an adventure. So be sure to subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna do some scuba diving here soon, hopefully. So definitely stay tuned. Until next time. Okay, so the first two places were a bust. We didn't really find anything but fishing hooks. Now, I found this dam. We're gonna go damn magnet fishing, I guess. Hopefully we find something. I don't wanna give up. I wanna be persistent. I wanna get what I look, was, was going out to find, what I wanted to get. Got my magnet, got my drone up in the air. Let's go for it. Chase the magnetic dream. Or something like that. I feel like I could definitely pull a Beavis and Butthead thing right here and just try to say damn as many times as I want because I have a good excuse for it. But I won't because YouTube will probably demonetize me. Yeah. Will this even reach and will I get hit by a car? We'll find out after I untie these knots and after these messages. Oh yeah, we're at the bottom. I can only think of two movies right now. One, Old School, and two, Naked Gun. Can you guys think of any other movies that this would remind you of to be hilarious? That actually feels like a pretty good tug. Feels a little heavier. Oh, hey! We got some, <laughs> we got some, what is that? First find? Oh yeah, what is it? Oh, no way. Utility knifer, right? Yeah. Oh, no blade. They got rid of the blade because of, uh, it's missing the blade because they probably did something that was frowned upon and got rid of it. No, I'm just kidding. It, it could be a number of things. Somebody could have just lost it fishing, but that's a, that's a decent find. We're gonna get out of here soon. I'm, I don't want to get hit today by a car or fall in. Found another hook. I'll tell you what, I will never have to buy hooks again in my life. I made it back to home base, you guys. I had an awesome time going magnet fishing for the first time. Uh, definitely stay tuned, subscribe. I wanna go magnet fishing, I wanna go scuba diving, I wanna go on an adventure all the time. So subscribe, and uh, until next time, don't let the gators get you. and 3D Machines out.
this this hand, this freaking magnet is stuck right now. I'm trying to get a GoPro shot and the magnet's stuck. Come on, get over here. 